Hey, Pack. I like shortening water pack to pack. Feels cool. <laughs> Two months from now, I will hit my four year anniversary on YouTube. Four years ago, I decided I was going to take the leap of faith and try to tackle this giant platform of YouTube. And truthfully, I'm lucky it worked out so fast. I've actually been doing this full time since I hit a thousand subscribers, believe it or not. And I'm very grateful for everything that really you have done for me. I mean, yeah, I built this career, but ultimately it's, it's you who really made it happen for me for watching and subscribing. So I want to thank you for that. Um, but 2022 is going to be a little different. Um, 2022 this year is going to be the year that we hit a million f***ing subscribers, baby. Dude, I'm not playing around anymore. One million subscribers, Patrick CC, the water pack, we're doing this shit, baby. I am manifesting this, dude. We gotta go absolutely f***ing crazy. I'm done being less than a seven-figure dude, bro. It's seven figures. I've been on this platform too damn long. Four years sounds so good. Zero to a million in four years, bro. We're making it happen. It's happening. I'm not f***ing around. I'm not playing dude. We need to go absolutely crazy this year. <laughs> Was I any good at acting? Maybe scaring you? <laughs> uh, probably not. But here's the thing. The only way that we can hit 1 million subscribers is if I expand my content a little bit. I've had inconsistent views over the years and recently with my commentary style I've been more consistent than I've ever been. I'm going to make more videos about people outside of the music industry or the music world. I'm definitely not giving up on music stuff, so don't even jump to conclusions. The two biggest commentary videos I've ever done are on Aiden Ross and Corpse Husband. Both of them are content creators, and I know they're in the music world. Obviously, Corpse makes music himself, but at their core, they are content creators, as well as Lil Hansen. The thing about music content is that the viewers are very not loyal. <laughs> like, if you're not talking about their favorite artists, they just don't care and they're not gonna click on the video. So it's all about finding the right music person to cover when they're just viral enough or they're just hot enough because the music community only wants to pay attention to who's relevant and if you didn't have a hot song in the past three weeks then you fell off. But I wanna be known as somebody who makes really, really good videos, not somebody who's just covering the, the most popular artist at the time. And I have so many good stories that I wanna tell and videos that I wanna make, but they're not necessarily in the music realm. But I'm always afraid that people aren't going to watch it because that's not what I'm known for. But I know y'all are going to ride for me, bro. I need the notification squad to go crazy this year, bro. Double check. Make sure your noties are on. Okay? And I need some time to plan. So I'm going to take two to three weeks off from uploading. I'm sorry. I, I got to get videos lined up in the barrel ready to go so that I have more time to plan and make quality stuff. When I come back, I'm gonna upload twice per week for at least like six months. The new upload schedule is Monday, Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern. So I'll probably upload around the 10th and 17th. Over the years, I've reinvented myself a lot. So a lot of my subscribers are inactive. As a creator, you have to balance the things that you wanna do versus the things that people wanna watch. And a lot of the times, they don't intersect. Generally speaking, people want you to do that one thing that they really like and just do it over and over and over again. And I've always loved doing a lot of different things. Sometimes I like to be serious. Sometimes I like to be super goofy. Sometimes I like memes. Sometimes I like a half joking, sarcastic thing. Sometimes I like games. Sometimes I like coming up with these marketing campaigns. I mean, I've done so many different things and that's why so many different types of people have subscribed to me. But what I've realized is that the commentary style where I'm very serious and very objective and just not really showing my whole personality, I suppose, is what appeals to the largest chunk of my audience. Plus I have my second channel in Twitch where I can be really goofy and silly so I can kind of let that off. And I'm going to stick with just the commentary style for all of 2022 on the main channel. It may not always be about somebody related to music, but just know it's gonna be a good story and it's gonna be a damn good video if it's coming from me. I'm also working on a whole ass clothing brand. I'm gonna announce that this winter, so make sure you follow me on my Instagram. That's where I post the most. Hopefully I can get like 100,000 followers, maybe get blue checked up. I don't know, Instagram been doing me dirty. <laughs> Monday and Thursday uploads coming very soon. I'm sorry I gotta take a little break, but it's just necessary. Notifications turned on or over here. I don't know where, check. 
double check okay all notifications right you know you know the deal happy holidays to you all i hope you and your family are safe and i hope you and your family are healthy hope you spend some time together hope you have a happy new year but 2022 it's our year baby i'll see you soon